The best way to learn anything in Drupal is to jump right in and start building. So in this video, we'll create a views page with the URL of slash latest dash articles, which will list all published articles sorted by created date. So right here, I have my Drupal 8 site. And the only extra thing that I've done is I've downloaded and installed the Devel Generate module, which comes with Devel. And I use that to generate dummy content because there is nothing more frustrating than trying to create a view with one article, whereas now I've got 50 articles to play with. So to create a view, just go to Structure and click on this Views link. Now, if you don't see this Views link, make sure you enable the Views UI. But if you've installed Drupal using the standard installation profile, then that module should be already installed. So just click on Views. And to create a view, just click on Add New View. So from this page, we can define a view name and some of the view settings. But these settings can be changed in the next page. So what I'll do is enter in Articles as the view name. And under View Settings, I will leave the Show dropdown to show content. Type of, let's select Article and sort it by newest first. So this means that views will list all articles sorted by their creator date. And then in the page section, check the create a new page. And this is where you define the page settings. So here you can see we have a page title and a page path. So let me just change the page title to latest articles. And the path will change to latest dash articles. And with the page display settings, let's just leave this as the default. But again, we can change this later on, so that's not a problem. Items to display, we will, we will leave that as 10. And use pager, let's just leave all that as it is. So then scroll down to the bottom and click on save and edit. So at this point, we have created our view. But let me take you through this UI just so that you get a better understanding. Because if this is the first time you, you are using views, this interface can be a bit confusing. So up the top, you have displays. Views allows you to add multiple displays to a single view. So we could essentially create as many pages as we want, or we could add in multiple blocks and group them in a single view. Then you have the title. This is the page title, or the title which will be used for this display. And then you have format. And this defines how the content will be displayed. If you click on it, you will see out of the box, you get four options, grid, HTML list, title, and unformatted list. But a lot of third-party modules ship their own format. Then you have fields. In this field section, you can define which fields will be displayed. But as you can see with this message, the selected style or row format does not use fields. And the reason why we can't select any fields is because we are displaying the teaser view mode and that's it. Then we have the filter criteria. Here, you can filter content based off a particular criteria. So right now we have two. First is publishing status. So the view will only display articles which are published. And then we have content type. So the view will only display if the content type is an article. And then below that, you have sort criteria. And right now the view will display articles by its created date or authored on in descending order. Then in the center column, you have the page URL. You can even define a menu and you can define the access control for this particular page. And then in the pager section, you can define the type of pager and how many items will be displayed per page. Now, another thing you can do from here is you can see a preview. So if we scroll down, you'll see that we get a preview of the actual view. And if we were to make any change to the view, the preview will automatically update. So at this point, let's just click on save and make sure everything is saved. And now let's just go to the latest articles page. So I'll just type in 
latest articles. And now you can see that the page title is latest articles, which is coming from the view. And if we scroll right down to the bottom, you can see that we have a pager at the bottom, which allows us to go to the next page. And at this point, the view will only display 10 items per page. Let's now change this view and display the articles in a single table. And this will give me the opportunity to show you how to add fields to a view. So let's just go back to our articles view. And to change the view to a table, click on unformatted list and then select table and click on apply. And here you can modify the table settings, but for now, let's just leave it as a default. Just click on apply. So now you can see that we have a single field in the field section. And if we scroll down to the preview section, you will see the title of the articles. But let's just add in a few extra fields to fill out the table. So first, let's add in a summary of the body field. So click on add and search for body and then click on add and configure fields. And from the formatter dropdown, select trimmed and set the trimmed value to 200. And then click on apply. And if we have a look in the preview section, you'll be able to see the body field trimmed at 200 characters. Okay, now let's just add in the created date or authored on date. So click on add and search for authored on and then click on add and configure fields. Let's just leave everything as it is and then just click on apply. And if we look in the preview section, you'll see the authored on date on the right. Now you can see that we have no column name for the title. So let's just add that in. Click on content title and then check the create a label. And then let's just add in title and click on apply. And then click on save, just to make sure you've saved the view. If we scroll down, you'll see that we have three columns, title, body, and authored on. Now, if we go back to the latest articles page, let's just hit refresh. And now you can see the table with the three columns. And then if you scroll down a bit, you can click on the next arrow to page through all of the articles. As you've seen, with a few clicks, you can create fairly custom pages without writing any custom code. And another added benefit of views is that it's easy to change the listing like we just did. With a few clicks, you can go from a list of teasers to a single table listing out articles.